Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo and today I'm gonna show you how to convert the old database from AIM software to the new software CrossCheck standard. So firstly, let me show you the old software. This is the communication project of AIM software. I'm opening it, let me adapt to the screen. Okay, so this is our old standard software and uh, we don't update it anymore and uh, it's still working with our new devices but uh, we have a new software crosscheck standard i think uh, most of you guys already know this new software i will show it later so just to present you the old software some customers still using this uh, old software and it becomes very inconvenient to transfer all the information on this one to the new one uh, because without migration it making the migration it would be necessary to enroll everything information by information manually so the proposal of this video is to show how to do it automatically okay so let's keep con let's continue here i have two devices uh, on the user's part, let me transfer it to English, it will be easier. Uh, okay, so here uh, some users are enrolled, uh, names, card number, we can see here on the fingerprint column that most of them have the fingerprint enrolled on the database. So I will transfer everything that we have in this software to the new one. Now I'm going to show you the new software, the cross checks standard. Okay. And since I, it's a new software, I installed it right now. I don't have anything on my database, so it's clean. I, sh I will show you that in the devices part, in the users part, there is no information on it. So device is clean, users, there is nothing. On the records we can see that we can find nothing so let's start the migration in the path of the, the installation of the crosscheck standard let's open the file location we are going to find a so uh, executable file called dbmove so after we install the new crosscheck standard and uh, we begin to use it and when we access the the path where we installed the system we can find the db move this is the application we need to migrate the old database to this new one so here it's my executable executable file i needed to to insert here the old installation path of the aim standard software and on the second line i need to put uh, where I'm going to establish this new database. So let's start introducing the directory of my old software in my computer. Okay, here is my, my old software where I installed it. And I suggest you to double check the advanced part. So uh, on the old software we had uh, different technologies uh, inside the, the directory I mean uh, we had the database that used to be to have the name of the users the, the events the registers the devices and we have an exclusive path to put only the fingerprint templates identification so uh, it was separated on the old software in this new software everything comes in only one file that is the database so now it's much more convenient to to share the system in, in a project that you need two or more computers uh, using the same database so it becomes much easier so that's one of the reasons one of the reasons that i suggest you to migrate your system to the new crosscheck standard and so here, uh, let's review. This is the template path where we have the, the fingerprint, the biometrical templates of the users, 
and on the mdb file it's where we insert the database of our old software and then here it's where we are going to to place the new database so i suggest you to keep the same so it will overwrite the the one you already have on your cross check so since my database is empty i will just overwrite it with the new information if you have a database that you are already using on your system i suggest you to make a backup before starting the migration okay so let's start click on the left button and let's wait after uh, completing the, the migration when we open the software the cross checks we will be able to see all the information already there so let's prove it Okay, loading. All right, here we have. Let's see the device parts. Look, the two devices I had in my old system and the same users that we also had there. So the users, the card number, the fingerprint already inside the same database as I told so this is much more convenient now. I suggest you to try this migration. If you uh, don't get used with this new software, no problem. You can keep with the other one. So, but this software is is up to date with Envis Factory. So every time we had a new function, every time we have uh, a new feature, we are going to update on this software. The other one, we will not update it anymore. Okay. So, let's see the records just to prove. Let's check here. Let me put it in English, okay. And then also the events are transferred to this new software. All right. So guys, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share the video with your customers. Uh, the, my intention is to, to put it here on this channel uh, some tutorials about our, sof our software and our device so it will be very easy in the future to look for technical support of Envis factory in the internet on the internet okay hope to see you soon have a nice day